Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. As you know, I'm a big fan of Nintendo Switch on this channel, I'm a fan of arcade sticks and controllers on this channel, and I love playing fighting games, among other types of games, and also, you know, drawing and whatever happens on this channel. But what I really want to share with you is my favorite feature, and it's not the fact that it's powerful and it plays games, it's not the fact that it's super portable and you can take it anywhere, it's actually this little button right here. This button here, I'm sure most of you have pressed it at least once, even if by accident. You press this button and it saves a screenshot, so you can go straight into your gallery and within seconds you're in the gallery and you can actually look at the screenshot that you just took and you, I don't know, if it's a really awesome moment in your gameplay you can post it to Twitter or whatever you want to do. But my personal favorite way of using this is actually to hold down the button like so and instead of taking a screenshot it will save a video so you can actually see the play button next to it shows it's a video and that means it will, when you go into the gallery, it will actually show you a 30 second clip of whatever happened most recently or since the last screenshot that you recorded was 14 seconds ago it makes a, four, a 14 second clip but if I actually left this on this screen for 30 seconds and held it down it would take a 30 second clip and the reason that's really powerful is because I've been using this a lot to help myself learn combos so for example like I'll open up the video and I'll just sift through sift through my combo and I'll be like oh, oh I messed it up there it's like Ooh, oh, oh did it go I got, okay, I got that far, oh, and then I messed up the, the jump move after that. And that's what I want to show you today. How I've been using the, the share feature to very, very quickly analyze my gameplay. All right, so let's boot up the game. I'm gonna go into training mode and let's load up the character that I've been playing, Seth. And what I'm, what I'm trying to learn at the moment is an anti-air combo. If you haven't played fighting games before, essentially it's, you know, when people jump in and kick you in the face. If you see it happening early enough, you can you can punch them out the air, basically. And I, I just took this directly off the Undernight Inbirth Discord. They've got like a, a list of resources. Oh, and also, as you can see, I'm not playing on an arcade stick right now. I'm playing on this button box controller that we made. It's a DIY controller I made in a previous video. So do check this out on a, pre on a separate video. Instead of just blocking like this, I can actually get tons of damage if I kick him out of the air. Something like that. But I want to turn this into actual damage and do a combo. So let's see if I can teach myself how to do it. Oh, okay, so I messed that up and I'm trying to figure out what went wrong. And actually I can show you, if I hold down the record video button, you can actually see this immediately. I jump straight into the gallery mode and let's watch that video. So it's, it's literally as easy as this. I just fast forward using the right analog stick, get to the bit where I messed it up. So I'm trying to do this move where I bop him out the air. I'm actually supposed to drop down onto the ground and do the next move, but nothing happens. So I'm like, what actually went wrong here? You can see it right here. Instead of pressing down A, B, I press down forward A, B. So I need to stop rushing my left hand and I need to make sure that I do it in time with my right hand. So immediately, I've already been able to use the video to find out what I did wrong and let's see if I can fix my mistake. So let's try it again. Okay, I managed, okay, I managed to do it. I managed to do it that time, but then I messed up the next thing. Let's see actually what happened. So we'll go straight into the gallery and it's only a seven second video because there's only seven seconds of stuff that actually happened. But if just double check in here, that went real well. Ah, okay, so that's where it messed up. So I need to jump up in the air. I need to press forward C. Ah, but you can see, to get the pun, instead of pressing forward C, I pressed C before I pressed forward. So the general, the general theme here is I'm rushing the buttons either on my left hand or I'm rushing the buttons on my right hand. So it's, I gotta get the timing right. So just like before, I'll go right back into the game and see if I can fix my mistake. Let's try this. Okay, I got it. Oh no, I messed it up. Ah. Okay, I got so close. So that is basically almost exactly what the combo is supposed to look like. Oh, I forgot to save it. I was too busy talking. You gotta make sure that you save it within the 30 seconds, otherwise it'll save the wrong 30 seconds. So the whole combo worked up until this point. Send that little orb into the air. And then why didn't it work? Why didn't it work at this point? You can see that it's not a, com a proper combo because when the combo counter goes from being blue when it ends up going red at this point here, in this particular game, Undernight Inbirth, that's how it tells you that you had like a gap in there where your opponent could have, you know, escaped from the combo. So I want to know, how could I have fixed this? So I'll rewind back to hit number 12, and I think it was hit number 14 that it goes wrong. One. So if you watch this combo, you can see I do three hits in the air, one, two, three, and then 
This little orb is supposed to hit the opponent next, but he's like kind of far away. Maybe he's a little bit too far up. You can see by the time the little orb does hit my opponent, it's too late. It gets to 14, but then the counter's gone red. And so clearly that orb is not getting to my opponent on time. I'm not an expert at this, but when you're learning about the game and trying to figure out what is actually going wrong in this combo and like I need to fix it but I don't know what I need to do faster and I don't know what I need to do slower I might be wrong but it seems like my opponent needs to be a little bit lower down so that that orb can hit him sooner so let's test that theory again might be wrong but let's find out obviously I have to still figure out myself like how do I get my opponent to be a bit lower down but there are moments in this combo where I can actually do things a little bit later so that he ends up closer to the ground. Ah, wait, I think I did something wrong again. What happened that time? Now I, need to, now I need to find out. This is what's really, really fun about this feature. It's just so fast that you can jump straight in and find exactly where you need to go because look how fast this is. It's just like, okay, I'll just search right back to the end of the combo. It was this part that went wrong. So let's watch it. So this, Ah, it was the same! So that orb didn't hit on time. If I go one, two, three, and then the orb hits, hopefully there'll be less of a gap in between. Let's test that theory. So jump back into the game. Aha! And this is another thing that I've actually noticed myself doing, so I'm just going to record my screenshot here. What's really weird is I do this on Arcade Stick as well, it's not just a, a button box thing. There's a bit where I need to do a quarter circle backwards and then press A. There, you can see in, in the directions I've pressed down, down back, and then I press the A before I actually press backward. Instead of doing a full quarter circle and then pressing the button, I'm pressing like quarter circle and halfway and pressing the button too early. So two things I need to fix. I need to fix the end of the combo and I also need to fix my execution on pressing the A button. Ah! Oh! Wait, 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 when did it go wrong? I feel like I got one thing wrong at the end. Let's double check. One, two, three. How about the 14th? See the 14th, oh, okay. So we're one step closer. The orb actually hits, but then this next kick, that next kick didn't count. You can see it's gone red. So it's like, maybe I need to be pressing that forward kick a little bit sooner. There will be times when you can't figure it out. You need to show this to a friend, but I feel like this process is part of familiarizing myself with the game and getting to know like the ins and outs and how combos, how long have you got before the window ends and you're not able to do the input anymore. I really enjoy getting a feel for how the game wants to be played. And this is, this is like, oh, this is like one of the most exciting things. Oh no, I got it. <laughs> I got it, but then I didn't cancel. Oh man, I'm so upset. One, two, three, four, five. And when I hit him on the head with the kick, I'm supposed to send out another orb, but I just didn't cancel on time. Oh, okay, I sort of cheated. I did the kick in the air, but what I really wanted to do was do the kick on the ground, so I'll, I'll keep trying. Yes! Oh my god! Okay, finally got it. Let's just double check on the recording. Sometimes I don't actually like trust myself. I'm like, wait a minute, did I actually do that? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and I got the orb at the end. Whew. Okay, well I'm glad I was actually able to show you that because I've actually not been able to get this combo. To be honest, I get this combo maybe once in every like 20 or 30 tries. So I'm still trying to figure out how to get the muscle memory. I'm still trying to figure out which parts am I making mistakes where I'm like not actually pressing this button. Like I sometimes press down, down back, back, punch. And I press the punch too late. But there are other times when I press down, down back, punch, back. And it's just like, oh no, I pressed the punch too early. So I'm trying to get all the timing correct. And also when you play on an arcade stick, I find that the distance that you push the lever on an arcade stick, you have to push pretty far. So you want, I, I tend to press the direction, like before I press the button, I'll go like, but I'll be like one, two, one, two. But I feel like once you're on a controller like this, normally you would press it like forward kick like that. But on, on a button box like this, you can actually just press it at the exact same time. 
and you can be a little more sure of the timing because the distance from these two fingers to these two buttons is the same as you know as each other they're pressing they're both dropping from the same distance but on an arcade stick you find that you're like pressing from like two or three centimeters from neutral to right and then your button finger here is like you maybe you're not pressing and there's no distance at all you're like maybe your fingers are resting on the buttons and you're doing it like instant not instantaneously but very very quickly so that's just something i wanted to show you today i haven't had as much time to stream or make videos but in my off time while i've been like waiting in queues and doing paperwork and stuff at least i've had my nintendo switch with me and i've been able to like play with you know even using the hori d-pad joy con and trying to play because i've actually been able to do some of these combos using the Hori D-pad, like, so I'm playing on D-pad and on button box and on arcade stick and on my off hours, like, I'm still able to play Nintendo Switch and use the record function and figure out little bits more about the combo system so that now, when I've finally got time to get back into streaming and making videos, I'll hopefully be, like, able to hit the ground running. Yes, I know my B&B &B combo, at least one, I know my anti-air combo, and I know vaguely how the mechanics of the game works. Time to go back online and play lots of Undernight. Like, I'm really excited. I was gonna say the Street Fighter news happened today and like they showed the footage of Akida and like, ah, so excited because we played Project Justice on Dreamcast last year on the channel. Lots of exciting things happening, but just wanted to show you my favorite feature of the Nintendo Switch is uh, this, this tiny little button here. So that's all for today. Remember to subscribe to the channel and please do leave a comment if you've got like a favorite thing that you like doing on your games consoles or something that you have found has been really useful for you know learning combos or just getting better at fighting games in general, or not fighting games, getting better at other types of games as well. Let me know in the comments section below. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.